Hello everyone, today we'll be in town talking about the mysteries of the Queen's Bathhouse. We'll also figure out why I accidentally deleted the original start of this video and of course a big announcement. Thank you for supporting on Patreon. So how are you all? It's nice to see you all. Hope you're all happy and healthy and safe and well out there. Uh, today we are going into town. Actually, I've already filmed it. We've been in town and we uh, go and have a look and talk about the mystery or, or, or what is the Queen's Bathhouse just beside Holyrood Palace. This was all done. This was all recorded and lovely and, and uh, it was good to just be edited together. But then the following day, Kirsten went into labour. Um, on her due date, Kirsten at half three in the morning, waters broke here in the house, and then by 3.42 p.m. in the afternoon, our new baby, Lillian, was here. Yep, there is a new member of Clan Brunford. She's here, she's happy, she's healthy. Uh, Mummy and baby are hopefully getting home today, which I'm over the moon about. The boys are... Well, the boys actually don't know what's going on, but I'm sure inside they are excited as well. Um, so yeah, it, but in the haste of getting ready, because in the morning I was like, right, I'll charge the camera and I'll take it in with me. And I went onto the SD card that was in there and I went, I'll just get rid of some stuff that, that's already used. So I had space in the camera and I accidentally deleted the start of the, the video. So the intro was gone. So... <laughs> So that's there. Um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, that's that's why the, vid the beginning of this video is a little bit different than it should have been. But I get to tell you that you know we have a new clan member. We have a brand new, brand new clan member in Lillian. Um, so we're both over the moon. Uh, so thank you for anyone who saw our post on Instagram and things and sent best wishes. You're absolutely amazing. Um, and, and as well, thank you to everyone on Patreon who's, who's supporting as well. It really means the world. You guys are just incredible. You guys know how amazing you are. Uh, but yeah, so we're going into town and we are going to talk about um, the Queen's Bathhouse. So from now on, the rest is the original video that was filmed. Oh, I should say as well, just um, this was in the original intro as well, just where the Queen's Bathhouse is, right at the bottom of the Royal Mile, as you come down the Royal Mile and then immediately turn left, it's about 100 yards along, right beside. So that's where we're going, okay? I will now hand you over to past me. And just, just to say as well, thank you to everyone who's been sending lovely good luck messages. Uh, just so you know, today, the day I'm filming this, is the 29th of September. Kirsten's due date is tomorrow, the 30th of September. However, there is no sign of this baby coming yet. Oh, how wrong I was. Kirsten is convinced she's going to be late. To tell you the truth, she's been convinced she's going to be late since almost, you know, when we found out that she was pregnant, really. She's like, I should be late. But, uh, so thank you all very much. We are at the finish line. There will be a new baby Brunford very soon. Ridiculously soon, by this point, the next day, she was almost born. Actually, before we get started, um, if you haven't already, please go and check out our, my second channel, where it's me just doing silly things. I hadn't put anything up there for a while, but I'll just put a new video up there. I'll leave a link in the description. It's just fun. Uh, but I'd love if you check out and give that a subscribe as well. So this is it. This is what we're looking at here. It's not the greatest angle. Let me see if I can cross the road without getting run over. This is the Queen's Bathhouse. Now it's right beside Holyrood Palace. Holyrood Palace is literally just there, right behind that fence. In fact, that road here is where coach trips park to go to Holyrood Palace. I'll just show you how close we are. Oh, I need to cross the road back and forth a lot. This video is going to get me killed. Okay, so, if I just look round the corner here, you will see, in fact, that's Holyrood Gardens there, that's the Gardens of Holyrood Palace. If you're ever invited to the Queen's Garden Party, that's the way you go in, I think. So you can see, this is that's Holyrood Palace, literally right there. Welcome coach parking set down for coach trips to Holyrood Palace, and there's a big crest. So, this is it, right here. This is the Queen's Bathhouse. That's what it's called, anyway. And I don't know about you, 
But don't you think that kind of looks like Hagrid's hut as well? I mean, I could be wrong. And I know people have talked a lot about the inspiration that was given round Edinburgh to Harry Potter, but that looks like Hagrid's hut to me. Let me know if you agree. So, Queen's Bathhouse, built in the late 1500s. And like I said, it's called the Queen's Bathhouse. Late 1500s, that was the end, the end of Mary Queen of Scots reigning. Holyrood Palace right there, and there was a wall. There was a wall that came off this, and the grounds of Holyrood Palace was a little bit more round here. So I don't know if it, I don't know if it came off here and then went straight down. But there was more of a boundary wall around this part of Holyrood Palace at that time that this was apparently a part of. Now, Queen's Bathhouse does seem a little bit odd to me, and I'm sure you'll agree that's the palace there. A little bit far away, but that's the palace there. Definitely like a, a minute, two minutes walk at the very most. We'll say, we'll say two minutes. Why would you walk from there, there for a bath? That's in, in Scotland. <laughs> if you're royalty and you've got the option, why would you walk from there to there for a bath? And I don't think there's ever been any proof that there is a bath in here. I wish I had a torch. Can you guys see in there? Is it does it show you anything? Can you guys see? There isn't, there isn't a big fancy light on here, otherwise that would have been cool. I do not know. I do not know if anyone ever gets taken in here. It definitely looks like there's kind of a slight pathway cutting the grass here to get to there. Where is the door? Let's go around the other side there and see if we can see a door. This is it from the other side. Look at that door. So it's on the this side, the Holyrood palace side is the entrance to it. Sorry, I, I, I kind of couldn't find the words there for a second. So that, when this used to be within the walled boundaries, I mean it would have been in here and nice and easy for the Queen to go there for a bath. However, there is, I, I, there's no proof that it was a bathhouse. It's called the Queen's bathhouse, but there's no proof that it was. What there is, however, is rumours to what it could be. So, some people say it could have been a dovecot for um, domestic pigeons and, and things, for doves and things, for carrying messages. I would imagine that's what's for. Makes sense, makes sense. If the Queen wants to send messages somewhere, she would need somewhere. So that's what it could have been. It's a beautiful little building. It's a stunning, stunning. It's Hagrid's hut. From now on, we're calling it Hagrid's hut. It could also have been um, used for if they had uh, parties or events outside. So event, essentially an event house for a staging area for events if they were having things in the garden out the front. So that's where the caterers would be, I would imagine. In this day and age, that's how we would describe that. That's the catering hut. I mean, it's a beautiful little building. I wish you could get a better angle. See if I can go over here and get a better angle of it from this side. I mean, look at that. Could you not have? That's the most beautiful, picturesque view of it I think we're ever going to get. If I don't use this as the thumbnail, then someone please, you know, shoot me, because that's beautiful. That is just amazing. So yeah, it could have been a dovecot, it could have been a staging area for uh, events, a sort of, you know, like I said, catering hut of, of sorts of the time. And when I say, when I say that as well, we actually need to tie back into that little garden, because it's, it, it said that it could have been that for the King's Privy Garden. Privy means private or secret. I mean, it's right outside the palace, so I don't know how secret or private it would have been. But, there was massive boundary walls, apparently. Apparently that's like a ma that's a two-storey building. And there should have been massive boundary walls round about it. So, yeah, so it could, uh, uh, privy nowadays also could mean the toilet. Which brings us back to um, the bathhouse. But it's a privy gardens. I don't think it means toilet gardens. It, it means private gardens. Um, so that's another thing it could have been. So what's that? That's a... Um, a, a, a I want to say private room for these private gardens. 
Queen's Bath House, what it's called, but there's very little evidence for that that it's ever been had a bath in it of any sorts. Dovecot seems very plausible. Um, staging area um, for events and things like that also seems plausible. We know it's not an entrance into the gardens because there's no door on the other side of it. If the wall here, if that was part of a massive wall, there's only an entrance on the private side of it. There's no entrance on the other side, so you couldn't go through it. It's not like an entrance way into the gardens or a side entrance into the palace. I, I wish I could go in it, I wish I could get closer, I can only get the other side, and the other side's not very exciting. But like I said, it's a two-storey building, built in the late 1500s, so end of the 16th century. It was restored in 1852, so again, I don't know what it was restored to, or restored from. I did also read that it could be the oldest surviving tennis pavilion in the world. I don't know what that means either. Was there tennis courts here? Was there private tennis courts? And that's where the players could get changed before they came out and played? For the king or queen? I mean, this could be the site of the original Wimbledon, apart from the fact that this area isn't called Wimbledon. But still, you know what I mean. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know and I want to know. So anyway, there you have it. If you're ever out this way... Oh, there's a plaque. Let's go have a look at the plaque. If you're ever out this way, and let's face it, if you're going to come down to the palace, you may as well come down. Because it's a beautiful building. Like from this side, from this side, you look out from here with the gardens there and everything, it is... A beautiful little building that is so cute and picturesque. From the front it's not as exciting, but, or at least when I say front, I mean the roadside. I suppose you could technically argue that's the front, because it's got a door. I'm rambling, I've not done that for a while. It's been a while since we've heard me ramble, isn't it? It's even got a little sort of, you know, turret? Turret? Anyway, here's a plaque. Queen Mary's Bathhouse. This little two-storied building is traditionally associated with Mary Queen of Scots, 1542 to 1567. It was once attached to a boundary wall, enclosing the King's Privy Garden and served as a pavilion or summer house, where the royal family might relax while strolling in the garden. Whether it ever contained a bath is unknown. What's really annoying is I didn't read that before I came here. I knew there was a plaque, but I hadn't read it. It's essentially just saying all the information that I've been looking up. I feel I gave it with a little bit more, you know, imagination. <laughs> See, we've got a chimney. It's got a little chimney spire there as well. I mean, it's a beautiful little building. It's worth coming out to see. Like I said, from this side, there's nothing there. It's just wall. From the other side, from the side we can't get to, because that's where I was there. I was just across the garden looking at it. There's the door that we can't see. Anyway, there you have it. The Queen's Bathhouse. So there we have it, guys. The Queen's Bathhouse. I mean, it's beautiful. It's intriguing. It's a shame we can't get in and have a look at it. I'd love to have a little wee look inside and see what, what kind of space it has. I mean, not much. It's not big. I've purely been speculating going with what, you know, the rumours are. But that's half the fun. That's what we're here for, you know what I mean? Just try to figure things out. Um, anyway, if you have enjoyed that, give it a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think it could be. If there's any historians out there, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please remember to go check out the second channel as well. But keep yourself safe out there, guys, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye, humans.